What's going on guys? So just wanted to do a three kind of part series. Well, it's just going to be one video, but three parts to this video on uh, how to improve your workout performance. A lot of you guys that go into the gym, if you had a bad workout, I have two. I know how it feels. You leave the gym feeling discouraged. Um, it's just not a good feeling. If you didn't meet where you wanted to be in the gym at that day, uh, you go home and you're like, man, uh, something must be wrong. So here's my three tips for you guys just to pretty much help you guys discover, you know, how to avoid the chance of probably uh, hitting a workout that's going to be a bad one or, you know, just improving your likelihood of having a good workout. So the first part of this three-part um, kind of answers is going to be Make sure you're hydrated. Uh, that's a very important thing. A lot of people go into the gym dehydrated. Uh, they're just, they're not drinking enough water before they go into the gym or the days before. A uh, good way to test if you're dehydrated is if you're already thirsty. Um, if your mouth's dry, if your tongue's dry, stuff like that, you're dehydrated. So uh, to avoid that, drink water in advance. Try to shoot for at least a gallon to two gallons per day, depending on your body size how much water you need. The body needs a lot of water. A lot of that water goes to the muscles. Um, a lot of it goes to the brain. We get a lot of water that just kind of, if we're not getting enough water, um, kind of be delusional. <laughs> so you see people that are dehydrated, um, they can't function right. So if you're not giving yourself enough water to function throughout the day, you're not going to be able to function good during your workout. Uh, your muscles aren't going to have the water to, you know, 60% of our body is made of water. So 60% of our body weight, so make, just make sure you're getting in that water intake. That's my first tip, probably one of the most important ones. Another tip um, could be, are you training too often? A lot of people don't want to hear this. Um, I myself train a lot. I train at least six to seven days a week sometimes. I try to shoot for six because I don't want to go too much. Two, seven is giving your body no rest. If your body's not getting enough rest, um, you're definitely gonna, your workout's going to lag. You're not going to feel like you have energy to go in the gym. You're going to you're gonna kind of go into overtraining. That's what a lot of people don't believe in overtraining, but I believe if you're not getting enough re uh, rest, recovery, and nutrition, you're overtraining. So if your tr nutrition's bad and you're not getting enough sleep and some other things come into play, uh, you guys could say, you know, going to the gym is not overtraining. You know, if you're saying nutrition, sleep, and recovery – but recovery falls in there. If you're not giving your body enough time to recuperate from the last workout, for say, let's say you did chest um, on Saturday, if you went in and hit chest today again, you might be overtraining if you're already too sore from your Saturday workout. So a lot of people don't like to hear that. Um, a good way to avoid that is to split up your body parts, especially if you like to be in the gym. Uh, kind of split it up into one part per day. Uh, chest one day, back the other day, arms one day, shoulders the other day, legs... So you're giving your body enough time, you can throw some cardio in there, and it's not going to be, you know, overtraining. I don't really like to say overtraining, I know it's, it has a negative connotation to it, but that's the way it is, you know, that's that's my second tip. So first we got hydration, make sure you go into the gym hydrated. If you're not getting enough water, man, you're going to be feeling it, you're not going to have a good workout. That's it for sure. Um, uh, number two... Definitely, uh, if you want to have a better workout, make sure you're not overtraining. There, you used it again. Make sure you're getting enough rest, recovery, and nutrition. It's good. Okay, so we'll go off that because I don't like to say overtraining. Um, my third and last uh, thing that I should say is to make sure you're getting two of the important macronutrients. All three are important, but the main two you should make sure you're getting is carbs. Uh, at least have a carb source between an hour and a half to two hours before your workout. Uh, usually it's so slow digesting, like a sweet potato. Um, let's say you want some brown rice. Um, bananas, kind of fast digesting, but still I'll eat it before my workout. Um, and then make sure you're getting some carbs sources afterwards. A little quick, quicker sources like white potatoes, white rice, um, candy, I guess. I did it. Um... So just make sure you're hitting your goals, like set apart some of your calories that you have for the day for before your workout and after, and the other macronutrients that's very important to get in before and after your workout is protein. 
Uh, fats aren't as important when it comes to before and after your workouts, so you don't have to really kind of worry about those. Um, worry about hitting those the rest of the other meals that you hit through your chicken, your if you eat steak, uh, hamburger meat, or uh, fish. Well, there's not very much fat in fish. Uh, peanut butter, uh, sunflower oil, stuff like that, guys. Uh, but make sure you're getting at least protein source between two hour, hour and a half to two hours before your workout. Uh, some people like to do protein shakes, stuff like that, of that sources. So, um, yeah, definitely make sure you're getting carbs before and after workout, protein before and after. If you're not hitting those, um, sometimes if you don't hit your pro, uh, protein goal, you'll kind of feel uh, less energetic, as you could say. Um, especially carbs, too. Carbs are our fuel source. They go to our muscles. They push the workouts for They help push the workouts for us. Uh, they turn into glucose. Science in there. Throw some science in there for you guys. But again, let's refresh. We've got number one, stay hydrated. Make sure you go into the gym uh, with a lot of water before you. Not don't go, don't go chugging. This will help, but it's not the source to go. Don't go chugging water before you go to the gym. Like, don't try to chug half a gallon and then go to the gym. You're going to feel sick. And try to get it all in before you. Know? When you wake up, Kind of a thing that I've seen that I really like, I don't use it, but is to have markers on your gallon. So by this time, be done with this much. So by like 9 a.m., be a quarter done with your water. By 11 a.m., be halfway done, you know, stuff like that. Um, it's good because it sets you like little uh, places to reach, little goals for your water intake. So make sure you get enough water. That's my number one important. Um, number two we had was rest, recovery, and nutrition. Make sure you're getting enough rest. Make sure you're recovering between your sets, also between your workouts, and pretty much just make sure your nutrition's good. Make sure you're hitting your goals, what you want to go after. If you're cutting, you know, make sure you're in a caloric deficit. But make sure you're getting enough sources to where it's going to be able to allow you to work out and have a good workout. You know, make sure you're getting those carb sources, those protein sources. That's our last um, thing on how to have a good workout is uh, improve your workout carbs, proteins. Make sure you're getting those two macronutrients in, you know, before your workout, after your workout, and throughout the rest of your day. So, um, this is my three tips. Let me know what you guys think. Make sure to like, share, subscribe if you guys enjoyed this video. Lots of more videos to come. I like to do these, um, kind of helping you guys out. I'm going to be doing these as I do the series because it's going to allow me to film more, but it's also going to allow me to give you guys stuff that, you know, could be useful to you. If you're having a bad workout today, you know, watch this video. Let me know what, you know if it helps you improve your workout. Uh, feel free to email me with your questions. I'm going to be doing a q and I haven't done a q and I don't think in a while. So q and uh, Feel free to email me your questions. Feel free to go on my other social media accounts. I'll probably have them in a little bar under here. Uh, feel free to just kind of let me know what you guys want to know. Personal, um, fitness related, I, I don't care. I'll answer all of them. You can go on Twitter, Facebook, Instagram. Feel free to Post your questions in there below. Um, so, And I used my new mic for this video, so we're going to see how it sounds. But thank you guys again for watching. Make sure to like, share, subscribe. I appreciate all your support. Uh, without your support, this channel wouldn't grow. So catch you guys in another video.